Dr. Ben Bickman, don't fear fat. Fat helps us digest protein. Control carbohydrates, and we've talked about that now. Focus on the least starchy, least sugary carbohydrates like fruits and vegetables. Number two, prioritize protein. Make sure you're eating enough protein and you're getting from the best sources, namely animal protein. Nowadays, we are inundated with plant proteins. You walk through a grocery store. I walk through Costco and some of the first pallets I see are these plant-based proteins. They are everywhere. Mm -hmm. We are obsessed with plant-based proteins, and that is to our detriment. Anyone listening who's flirting with plant-based proteins, stop wasting your money. So you're going to not be getting the balance of amino acids that you need, but you also don't absorb them as well. So you're, it's another level of you not getting the nourishment you think you are. And, and this is quantified in human. We know in humans that the best proteins are egg, meat, and dairy. Any plant protein is far below that. Part of the problem with plant proteins is that every plant protein contains things called anti-nutrients. I'm not making that up. It seems like it's a, a mythical term. <clears throat> it's not. Every plant protein ends up getting enriched in these molecules that inhibit the digestion of the protein from that plant. And these are things like phytic acids, tannins, trypsin inhibitors. I invite anyone to, to after this discussion to go look these up, all plant proteins have these. They, and they have to try to overcome what's, what the plant is trying to do, which is stop you from eating it. And, and so don't eat me because you're not gonna get any nutritional value. And, and then second, what is overlooked, but this was confirmed by a group called the Clean Label Project, plant proteins contain heavy metals like lead and arsenic. And this is a consequence of doing something that is a little unnatural. For example, peas are incredibly deficient in protein. If you're trying to get a serving of protein from peas, you've got to take a thousand peas and refine it, refine it in order to get that protein. In the process of concentrating these peas, the protein is what you want. What you don't want is the minerals that are naturally enriched in peas. When you eat a handful of peas, it's, it's an insignificant amount. But when you've concentrated a thousand peas, now you're getting potentially unhealthy levels of lead and arsenic. And this is what this Clean Label Project, this third party group confirmed in plant proteins. You just don't get those in animal proteins. The magic of the animal is that those sorts of things have been worked out through the animal in different mechanisms. Don't fear fat. Protein and fat come together in nature, eat fat, and, uh, and not only does fat help the protein digest better, it does. When someone eats fat with protein, the, um, the, the, the digestive mechanisms of digesting fat, the bile acids actually help digest. It, it improves the breakdown of the protein as well. So people will commonly say, I can't eat a whey shake or something. It upsets my stomach. And I will always say, well, what if you mix that whey with some fat? And I believe a one-to-one -one ratio of fat to protein is what's ideal in that regard. And almost always the person finds that they handle the protein just fine. So fat helps the protein to digest better. Fat and protein together are more anabolic than protein alone. That's also confirmed in humans. Also, the magic of fat is that fat has no insulin effect. And so when you look at human health through the lens that I do, which is how can I keep my insulin low while nourishing my body to live a long, healthy, lean life? then fat is valuable. Don't fear being liberal with fat when you're adding it to your protein, especially, you know, especially if someone's eating a lean meat like chicken, you put some butter or some olive oil on that. Fat and protein are supposed to come together. So those are the rules. Control carbs, prioritize protein, don't fear fat. Number one, control carbs. Focus on good carbs like fruits and vegetables. Two, prioritize protein. Focus on healthy protein like animal protein. We are inundated with plant proteins. With plant proteins, you will not get the amino acids that you need. You won't absorb the proteins. We know in humans, the best proteins are egg, meat, including fish, and dairy. Every plant protein contains anti-nutrients. These inhibit the digestion of protein. These include phytic acid, tannins, trypsin inhibitors. 
the anti-nutrients have to try to overcome what the plant is trying to do, which is to stop you from eating it. As confirmed by an independent group, the Clean Label Project, plant proteins contain heavy metals like lead and arsenic. Peas are deficient in protein. You have to take a thousand peas, refine, refine, refine to get a serving of protein. And in the process of concentrating these peas, you get an unhealthy level of lead and arsenic. Every plant protein contains anti-nutrients. Don't get those in animal proteins. Three, don't fear fat. Fat helps protein digest better. The bile acids help break down the protein. Fat helps protein digest better. A patient might say, I can't eat a whey protein shake. Dr. Bickman would simply reply, mix the whey with fat in a one-to-one -one ratio to handle the protein just fine. Fat and protein together are more anabolic, and fat has no insulin effect. Be liberal with fat when eating protein. For example, if you're eating chicken, add butter or olive oil. 